In today's video, we're gonna look at this beautiful little herb. It's called the Starred Flowered Fall Solomon Seal, also known as Smilacina stellata. Stellata means star. So let's have a look at some of the characteristics that can help us identify this plant. So first off, we can notice that it's growing here in a cluster. So this is very common of the star flowered fall Solomon seal. They often grow in groups like this, especially in low to mid elevations in moist conifer forests. So you'll find them often growing in clumps. So let's start off by looking at the height of the plant. You'll notice they're quite short. They're only about 20 to 60 centimeters tall. And the leaves are along a single unbranched stalk. This is important to note because other plants like the clasping twisted stalk have branches. So it's unbranched. If we look at each leaf, they come along the stem alternating one side to the other, and they don't have very much of a leaf stalk. They kind of are semi-clasping around the base of the stalk. If we look at the leaves themselves, you'll notice that the veins are very distinctive. They're parallel veins that come out and rejoin at the tip of the leaf. You can also notice that the leaves are quite lance-shaped, rather long and pointed. If you feel the leaves with your fingers, you'll notice a very, very fine hair on the underneath side of the leaves, but they're smooth on the top and along the edges. So let's look next at the flowers. The flowers are where this plant gets its name. They're very pretty little star flowers that come along the, uh, the end of the stalk, which is known as a terminal flower arrangement. So you'll see lots of little clusters of flowers at the end of the stalk. Again, this is important to note when comparing it to other things like rosy twisted stalk, which has flowers that come along underneath the, um, the individual leaves under the stem. So the terminal leaf stalk is important to note. Later in the season, the flowers develop into little berries. So they change color from a greenish to sort of a reddish color, and they have uh, distinctive stripes along the berries that begin darken as the season goes on. So when you're trying to identify the star flowered fall Solomon seal, I hope you'll keep in mind some of the traits we looked at today. They can be a rather tricky plant to identify, so make sure to look at more than one feature. That's all for now. Tune in next time for some more plant videos.